welcome to this Enlight tutorial. In this Enlight tutorial, um, we're going to make this. So yeah, that right there is a uh, like an intermediate sort of tutorial, sort of um, talking in terms of level. And I'm going to give you include two files in the um, in in the description. You can download from the description of this um, of this video. One of them is this um, this film strip right here. They're of um, they're of put together, and the other is this hand. Um, here they're of, of PNG and I've put together for you as well. So you're gonna need these two um, these two files in order to to make this um, to make this effect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start up with this line. Now this image obviously can be um, whatever image you want it to be. One of your family is maybe quite a good one. Um, so yeah, just to give you some ideas there. So um, I'm gonna go, um, I'm gonna wanna blur the background or blur this first image here. So I'm gonna just tap the screen to open up my tools or the three little bars in the top right hand side. Tap those to open up my tools and then I'm going to go to tools. And um, I'm gonna go to tilt shift down the bottom right here. And then I get this, um, this little circle that I can pinch and squeeze. Um, with my blur so I'm gonna go to shape change this to linear and then this line I'm just gonna turn it and straighten it up with my finger the only reason it was like that it should be straight because I was messing about with it I'm gonna um, tap the anchor and um, point in the center of this image of this um, of the screen and drag it to the bottom and these little two arrows I'm just gonna drag those together as well just and grab one with your finger and just slide your finger down. Then I'm gonna to go to mask at the bottom and I'm gonna go back to tools. I'm gonna to go to intensity. Now the intensity of the blur depends on what image you have it. So with this um, with this line here, you see, I can drag the blur up quite high. I'm just dragging my finger along the screen and you can still make out what the image is behind. But I just want it blurred a little, just so, um, just so you lose clearly what the image is but the blur is still there and you can still make out what the image is so I want it around for this image around 69 between 60 and 69 and then I'm going to click the little tick button in the top right hand side and I'm going to save this image out because I'm going to want to use this image again so I'm going to click the little box here on the top of the screen and I get the drop down and I'm going to save photo and you'll notice my photo is saved to my left hand side of my timeline at the bottom of the screen but the active photo is shown or annotated with the purple um, edge around it. And now I can just click this little back arrow because I've got my saved version in the bottom left hand side of my screen as I just mentioned. I can click the little back arrow to take this image back to its original state. Now, let's make the, um, the film clip. And we, the way we do this, I'm just gonna select one of the film clips like so. And then I'm gonna go to um, tools and mixer my tools already opened up mixer and i'm gonna um, select my original lion image and i'm gonna pinch and squeeze and increase the size until it covers it sort of snaps in place and it covers this um this film strip image and i'm gonna go to tools and i'm gonna go to blending now because the background's white if it had no background you could possibly just use the overlay um blending mode but if i use the overlay at the moment because the sorry if the background was black or clear there was no background you could use the overlay because the background's white if i use the overlay you you see that i only get to see the image in the dark areas of the um, of the frame whereas if i go to multiply you'll see it will multiply that image to um, merge it or likewise i could go to darken or multiply whichever one that you think works best I'm going to just keep with multiply and then you can um, increase or decrease the blend mode like so and I'm just going to increase the blend mode to 100% by sliding my finger on the screen and this is that image that I want I'm going to click the little tick button top right hand side and again I could save this image out or I could just use it in the form that it's in now so um, I've got this image as we have it now and I am going to save this image out 
So I've got those two separate images on my far left hand side of the screen as you're looking at it. I'm gonna select my original blurred image again. And then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna to want to use my, um, the PNG of the hand next. So I'm gonna to go to tools again, which is already open for me. Mix that again, then select, scroll along, select the hand. And then I'm going to just rotate the hand around and pinch and squeeze to increase the size of the hand and drag it to the side of the image like so. And then I can click the flatten button here and just select this image on the left hand side or I can click the tick button in the top right hand side and then select tools mixer and go that way. So just for ease and just to make it shorter, I'm gonna click the flatten button right here and then I'm going to select the image on my far left and it dropped that image in quite nicely for me actually but I'm just gonna going to move that image a little bit for you to show you um, I don't want it that big this is how I want that image as such now I'm not gonna ask for this image to be perfect I'm not gonna try and blend it in perfect with the fingers but let me show you um, show you how to roughly do it so you notice at the moment the image that I've got active is um, annotated with a blue line around the screen so I'm just going to tap to the right hand side of that image to remove that blue line and now I can zoom in or out of that image um, as I um, as I see fit or I can tap the image again to select to get the blue line so it's active and then I would be able to move the image you see so um, this is where I want the image roughly like so okay so I'm going to just tap off the image to deselect it I'm going to go to tools and then I'm going to use this erase button on the left hand side. Before I do so, I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. And then I'm going to select the erase button on the left hand side. And I'm just going to erase um, some of the image out. And it's not going to be perfect, you see. I just erased some of the image, some of the image out. So you can see a clear gap away from the image. So I'm going to deselect erase and move to the top um, of the image. And then again. I'm just going to roughly, it's not going to be perfect like I said, and if I think I've gone a little bit too much like so, I just click the back button, and again, because I thought I did too much, and then I'm just going to undo or get rid of some more of this image, just a real faint part of the image, just get rid of it, so you can see, just erased it, so you can see that the finger is actually there, so then if I zoom out, like this it does actually look like that image is in there and i suppose if i've been really picky this is a bit too much so i could click the add button and just add a bit back into it you see maybe that's a little bit too much so i'll go back to the arrays and it is just a case of trial and error um you don't have to be perfect here just trial and error deselect the arrays button and have a look how that looks and that looks fine to me not too bad it could be tidier, I suppose, if I wanted to be really picky, but I'm not going to be too picky, and it looks okay. So then I'm going to click the little tick button in the top right-hand side of the screen, and then what I'm going to go and do, I'm going to um, go to Finalize down here, and I'm going to go to Border, and I'm going to create a nice little border around the outside. So I'm going to select the third border in, and I'm going to go to Tools, I'm going to go to Color, I'm going to make the border black, then I'm going to go to width. I'm at width, and I'm going to slide to the left-hand side of my screen just to um, make the border thinner. Then, once I'm happy, I'm going to click the tick button to say yes, that's okay. And then I'm going to go to image. I'm going to go to clarity. I'm going to scroll all the way across. I'm not going to go to clarity. Apologies, my mistake. I'm going to go to adjust, I'm going to slide all the way across, and then one from the end, I'm going to get this ink print. Now if I drag the ink print all the way down and then start sliding my finger over to the right hand side, what we want is when the image, see this is too much, but this is good. So when the image just changes from this warm type feel to a sharper ink or false shall we say false sort of look like so 
Once I'm happy with this, I'm gonna click the little tick button and then I'm going to go to filters, analog, scroll along and you can choose any filter that you want. But I would suggest if you choose some of the, the false or the brighter um, predefined like this um, Mimis or the Fiji here, gives it too much of that ink print feel. However, if you go for something along the um, the haptic sort of um, line, gives it quite a nice feel. And the, um, the Zuri, no, probably a bit too much with the Zuri, but the 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 Brig should be nice. Should be quite nice. Give us quite a nice feel. Um, but I think I'm going to stick with the haptic personally. But again, it's totally down to you and how you how you how you think. So that's the um, that's the finalised image as promised. I'm going to click the little tick button. I'm going to save that image out, and that's how our um, our finalised image looks. Like I said, you could add your you could add any image, use any you know any image, but don't forget to um, download the um, the little hand or indeed create your own just by um, mixing and erasing the background and the little um, film strip as well um please leave your um leave your comments below um share it whatever you want to do thanks a lot for watching i'll catch you soon